Hi guys, welcome back to part two. Uh, I was um, talking about the, uh, how Homeland Security and FEMA were uh, training clergy pastors uh, in communities to actually round up as in a cowboy mentality. Yeah, they've renamed everything. Um, you've got to listen to the interview that was... Uh, now, I don't like Alex Jones. Okay, he's he's big disinfo and this info. A lot of people like listening to him, but this guy he works for the new the guys of the New World Order. Okay, and he gets paid by Rupert Murdoch. Okay, that's his boss. So that tells you right there what kind of person he is. But anyway, he interviewed this um, pastor back in 2006, a pastor, Rivera. And he exposed what was going on about them training the clergy and said that they renamed everything, for example, about mental health. Uh, instead of calling it mental health care, they are going to call it spiritual care. Okay? Just to let you guys know what uh, really dirty deeds that these guys are up to. And uh, how they're going to talk about that they're going to come on people's property and confiscate everything. It just makes me sick, you know. I mean, at me being a Christian, I uh, need to look at, the, uh, probably some people think I might need to think of this of a, another way, but what other way is there? When you got a tyrannical government wanting to put us in um, camps, and only God knows what will happen to us there, and then that there's the case of um, foreign Foreign troops wanted to come here to uh, take over the rest of what we got. Um, it's really way too much, guys. And uh, for me to to say, you know, if you can't get it from right now, uh, what is going on, uh, I don't know what to tell you. Because this really disgusts me. I mean, for months of been hearing this and that, it's just really, I'm just tired. Really disgusted. And... Uh, I mean, what would you do? Would you let somebody just come on your property and just take what all you had, what all you worked for? You know, and then just railroad you off to some camp? I mean, I, I don't know. Um, I know there's been warnings that if we did fight back, they would kill us, but well, we'll wind up dead anyway. You know? And... I trust in the Lord, okay? Uh, don't get me wrong, I do trust in Him. And I love Him with all my heart. And um, I'll follow Him to the end. Uh, if someone says, you know, you're going to have to give up Jesus, uh, you, you know, in order to for you to live, just basically. And I thought, well, you know, I'm not going to do that. Uh, they're going to have to kill me, you know, before I do that. Because that's one thing that that they won't do. That's what they won't take from me is Jesus. Because he's in my heart. And they can't take that from me. They can take the Bible. Uh, because they said that they would take Bibles away from us. Okay. But always remember memorize scripture, you guys. Okay. <laughs> remember that. And uh, they can do whatever they want. But they they can't take that away and they can't take your crown away your soul because unless you let them and don't let them do that because your soul is the most precious valuable thing that you have and that's why Jesus came to to die you know to save our souls because he thinks that we're precious okay but this is a Okay, this was from a, um, a, I think it was a form, I don't think where this was. It was about the 2012 pole shift witness. Okay, you want to keep that in mind too. But they were talking about martial law and how the United Nations units were going to be deployed in America and why. Okay, no. They probably won't be able to use the Ameri our American troops, our American citizens, or troops who are enlisted in the service, 
to round us up, they were probably enlist foreigners uh, and put them into their army to come after the rest of us. Um, this was written back in 2008. Okay, so this is probably before Obama got into office and starting uh, signing things right and left. Okay, and that just goes to show that everything was planned beforehand, long before Obama was in. And this, these were all planned by the Bushes, by Cheney, and uh, by uh, their administration at the time. And they're all Satanists. And the CIA are, is a Satanist organization. And that's all I have to say there. Uh, I'll just leave links to everything, and y'all, y'all can read in depth of all this, all these things. Uh, the, okay, the one thing I want to Okay, Obama. The next one, Obama. Uh, okay, this latest executive order implements Agenda 21 policies. Okay? This is right in front of your face, you guys. So, uh, Obama has released an executive order establishing a White House conference on strong cities, strong communities, in accordance with the United, United Nations Agenda 21. Okay, that tells you that the United Nations is the boss of Obama. He takes orders from them only. And, and what is United Nations? They're Luciferian. They're Satanists. And they're run by Satan. Believe it or not, you guys. And um, I don't know what I have to say from this point. It's, it's getting down to the wire, guys. It's getting very serious. And that's all I have to say about that. But anyway, they their objective is to turn America into a controlled country under their global governance. Okay, and then I say one world order. Okay, not new world order, but one world order. Yeah, just like the Bible said, Obama plans partnership with local communities in the United States government to provide them with comprehensive technical assistance to use and compete for federal resources. Okay, what that means is that they're going to force people out of where they live to gather up all the resources in the, you know, the resource rich areas. Okay, and that's the next article I needed to get into also. And the United States will then enable them to develop and implement economic strategies to become more competitive, sustainable, and inclusive. You mean that's just only for the elites and not the rest of us, huh? Because that's what they're going to do. They're de going to depopulate the certain regions in the United States. And the U United Nations Agenda 21 uh, Sustainable Development is defined as the uh, in integration of economic, social, and environmental policies to ensure a reduction in consumption, social equity, and preservation of biodiversity. Get it, people? It's right there in front of your face. They want to reduce consumption. They want to introduce us as useless eaters. Basically, that's it. <laughs> and some, for example, smart growth, wildland projects, okay? They're wanting to wipe you out. Uh, resilient cities, see, they're wanting to cram everybody all in these cities. And that's not a good thing either. Uh, because that only causes a lot more problems. But anyway, uh, regional uh, visioning projects or local visioning. I have no idea what that is right now. Um, star uh, sustainable communities and green jobs, building codes or going green. And uh, that going green movement, that's satanic. Okay? That has nothing to get uh, good for, for your good, let me tell you. Uh, it says, by creating a welfare state of dependence, the government assistance uh, claims to be able to lift America out of its economic distress. Uh, yeah. It's, you know, they have other plans for doing that, too. This uh, uh, perversion of actual 
plight of the average American is insulting. That's right. It has been the lack of uh, pers uh, persecution of the central banking cartels that created the economic devastation we all face today. The Obama administration has ignored this truth. Well, Obama's lied about everything. Uh, as a big brother uh, control, this executive order will not help to alleviate our decaying cities, and it won't. It will make it worse, but simply place them under government regulation, and still they want to take away our freedoms. Oh, boy. Uh, and this is communists all over it. You know, Obama is a communist, and his boss is George Soros, who is an operative with the United Nations. You know, he he handles the finances. He pays Obama's paycheck. Okay? I mean, he writes Obama's paycheck. Excuse me. <clears throat> so, this rhetoric is nearly copied directly from the Agenda 21 documents from past Earth summits. It won't make you sick. But anyway, uh, this is a. I want to see how long is this. There's quite a bit there. There's also a video here that says Agenda 21 for Dummies, okay? <laughs> that's that's pretty good because uh, if you don't know exactly what Agenda 21 is, then you need to, to listen to this video, okay? <laughs> Hopefully, I hope you will. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. Uh, okay, now this, the EPA uh, usurping privately owned farmlands for Agenda 21 buffer zones. Okay, and so what they're trying to do, that's where it comes to the part about confiscating farmlands, the farmers' farmlands. That's what they were doing in the Midwest when they were trying to flood it all out and all that good stuff to destroy everything. They're wanting to buy. It was back, like, months ago when I made a video about George Soros and about what the, the banks and the cronies were doing, about buying up the midlands there, what they were trying to flood out. Okay, this is what they were doing, basically. So, I'm going to leave the link to this, and hopefully you guys will read it, read everything that I have links to. Because, you know, I can sit here and... And I tell you guys that this stuff is for real. And I mean, it's not made up. I'm not making it up. Um, if it was made up, I wouldn't be here telling you this because, you know, I'm not into that stuff. Uh, you know, telling you lies. I mean, I wouldn't do that because um, I'm under the uh, jurisdiction of Jesus Christ. He's my judge. And whatever comes out of my mouth, I have to give account for it. Okay. Um, okay, this <clears throat> article here is uh, improving Agenda 21, the, the United Nations proposal to control the world's food and water supplies. See, they don't want us to have any food either, and that's why they're trying to outlaw that too. And it's all going to come into place this year, because the new agenda, uh, it will start June the, the 12th, uh, this year. Uh, I'm sorry, 2012, this year, uh, around June. And, yeah, it's, you, I think we're all going to feel it by this time. You know, we, uh, I think we are, because, uh, uh, all I can say is that the proof is in the pudding, you know, you guys. If all these things are going to happen and they're going to affect everyone, I'm sure everyone's going to feel it by this time around this year alone because they they're preparing the way for the antichrist yeah and he's supposed to be coming around around the summertime of this year so sorry to say you guys oh well we just kick that in the sand huh well anyway that's the end of my video so i say god bless you guys jesus loves you so do i and until next time, links is in the description bar. Bye-bye now.